This fly is the Matthews X Caddis. It comes from Craig Matthews out of West Yellowstone, Montana. It's a super simple little fly that'll imitate an emerging caddis. You can tie it in several different colors just by varying the color of the dubbing. It's tied with a uh, Timco 100 or 100 SP hook. I'm going to use GSP 50 to tie the wing down. The shuck is going to be some ginger or amber colored Zelon. And we're going to use some natural deer hawk for the wing. I'm going to start the thread just a couple eye lengths back from the hook eye and run a thread base back to the bend. And then I'll run the thread forward again to our starting point to tie down our shuck. Now I don't like to use a whole strand of Zelon for the shuck on these flies. I like to make it a little sparser so I'm going to separate this strand out a bit and use maybe two-thirds of a strand. So I'll cut the end square and anchor this down at the front and draw it down to length. And I'll wrap back over this to the bend. We'll trim the shuck later, but for now I'm going to leave it long. I'm going to take a little pinch of olive dubbing. And we're going to build a simple tapered body here. You can also use a much coarser dubbing. We're using super fine here, but you could use hair's mass dubbing just as easily. Um, caddis are sort of a raggedy style bug, not nearly as streamlined as a mayfly nymph is. So it's perfectly acceptable to have a little bit, little bit scruffier body. But I'm going to start that dubbing at the bend. I'm going to make a single layer coming forward up to about an eye length back from the hook eye. And then I'll overlap the front end to just build a nice smooth taper up onto the bare shank. I'm going to continue that thread forward up to the hook eye and back to the front edge of the body one more time. Now while I'm here, I'm going to trim my shuck. And here's an easy way to do this. Is I can, if I wanted a shank length, I could go right in here behind the hook eye. Or if I wanted a little shorter, I have a, the gauge of the hook right there to sort of measure it. So I'm going to cut it just a little short of the, of the hook shank itself. And that's my shuck. Now, I don't like this real square cut there, so I'm going to just shave off the top and bottoms so it's a little more ragged. I don't like those straight edges. Now for the wing, we're going to use a little clump of deer hawk. Deer hawk is a real fine hair uh, that's got nice short tips that flare really prettily. You don't have to use deer hawk. Any sort of short tipped deer hair will work for this. Um, deer hawk is just one of the most consistent hairs I found for this fly. It's got nice hollow butt ends so it'll flare well but the tips create a nice wing shape on the finished fly. Um, and again, I tend to tie this fly a little heavier than usual. A little more hair in the wing. And that's just to give it a little more float. I can always whittle it down on the water. Take a bit of that hair out if I need. So I'm going to stack this clump of hair up. I'm going to measure it against the hook shank. I want it about a shank length long. Now you can also tie X-Caddis with a little shorter wing to, to imitate a, a little more of a crippled emerger or, or a step before they get all the way out of their shuck. Um, so anywhere between a shank length long and about a half a shank length long would be appropriate on this fly. I'm going to go for a full shank length long. I'm going to measure that hair and I'll transfer the hair to my material hand now. Just fingertip to fingertip. So now what I've got inside my fingertips is one shank length long. So now I can trim these butt ends off just beyond the edges of my fingers. And I can lay this bunch of hair in with the butts just behind the hook eye. My thread is sort of flattened out while I let it hang there in the meantime. So I'm going to spin it to let it cord up so it'll bite into this hair. I'm going to put one turn around the hair and one more turn right over the top of that one. I'll pull the thread toward me to flare that. I'll draw a little thread out and whip finish just here behind the hook eye. Just three or four turns. I'll trim that thread down. I like to make sure that there's nothing sticking out underneath the fly. If you've got any of those hairs that rolled around, you can go in and trim those out. And in the need that you're, when you're fishing, if you want to thin this wing down a little bit, just lift some from the top. You can see how you could thin this down once you're on the water a little bit as well. Um, but I do like to tie them a little heavier to start with. That just gives me the opportunity to change them if need be. I can't make the hair get any thicker once I'm out there. Um, simple little fly, great little caddis emerging.